Hey Linux friends, today we are looking at the find command. Yesterday I just released a video about the locate command. Check it out. Check it out. Quite riveting. I'm hearing Oscar nomination whispers in the wind. Potentially me and Morgan Freeman fighting it out. Kind of like the find command and the locate command. Like I'm better at searching. I can do it quicker. But definitely the find command can go everywhere where no man has gone before and retrieve stuff from the file system that we didn't even know was there. So I'm gonna show you a few real world examples of how Ma, me, me, bro, finds stuff and how I use it on the job. And hopefully you will learn something new. If not, hopefully it's entertaining. Click, click and subscribe, comment, how you use find. It's all welcome. It would be great, teach me, Yoda. The find command is structured via this way, the find command itself, then the path that you wanna search in, then you have the search options, and then you have the action that you wanna take on the stuff that you find. So let's say I wanted to find, and I do not specify a path, it's going to search from the current path that I'm in. So I'm in my home directory, so it's gonna search my home directory, Let's do find type directory. And let's do name ladybird. Uh, as you can see, I have a folder here called ladybird. Um, let's do like that. I name. I name you to watch the locate video that I just released because then you would know I love uh, the hyphen I option because actually it's case insensitive. I use it with locate, grep, find all the time. So right now we can see that it finds both the ladybird that we found previously and now also ladybird with a capital L. So that's why I usually use it. Um, I like uh, the I name option. Another option that we can use is the OR operator. I do not use this one often myself, but it's kind of good to know that it's there. And O oh, or uh, Stallone, or oh, I forgot Name. So you can either pick your poison, Stallone or Bruce Willis. They're both there. So now we know about the OR operator. But what if we wanted to search the whole file system for something? Then you would just put into the path the root directory, and then you would put in the type that you want to search for, file directory, and then you put in the name, let's say linux.conf and we get a bunch of permission denied so let's just sudo it up so here we have linux.conf in neat nice michael Bublé. do not know why i said his name it just rolls off the tongue uh thing that i often use at work and at home as well both for work and pleasure so let's say find let's say type file again let's say size plus oh plus plus size five gigs i only have one file that's plus five gigs and there it is in all its glory the rel dvd so check out the blog i have uh, the, a lot of examples of everything <laughs> you can do megabytes as well and kilobytes stuff like that so neat sweet saucy here are two examples of how you can use find to check permissions. I'm going to be honest with you on the job tip. I've not used find a lot to check permissions on the job, but uh, here's how you do it. I've used it for to check the set user ID. So if you do not know what that is, Google it, uh, Bing it, don't Bing it. <laughs> Chat GPT it, Claud it. Oh. I'm gonna stop now, sorry. Um, let's do find user bin because I know there are set user ID files there. Uh, let's do perm and with, let's say at least the set user ID. So this guy right here says at least the set user ID, or if you do that, it means with any of these uh, permission bits set. So um, you can look at that. I, I could go into details, but I won't check out the blog, the interwebs. So let's uh, look at something that's there. Let, let's, uh, let's do user bin soup. And oh, I'm going to do that. 
So here you can see this small s is the set user ID. So it just found all of those. You want to make sure that you do not have a binary that can do that. That's malicious. That would be not good. Uh, also with like find var, let's say you have uh, a web server or something. You want to check the perms that uh, let's say 777 and uh permission denied sudo it up sorry let's do that slowly uh, same kind of a thing with at least 777 under var and there's nothing malicious going on there you can see that the temp is there so quite uh, uh ordinary ordinary people ordinary people um so here you can see 777 777 var temp so those are two quick examples of how you can check permissions with the find command. Remember when I told you that the find command has an action component to it? Well, let's put it into action. <laughs> Pun intended. Dave Chappelle, look out. Here I come, the new comedy king on the block. So find path is my home directory. We're looking at type file and the name is going to be star jpeg i'm that old i have jpegs and we're going to execute a copy and then we are going to copy it where shall we copy tmp why not then we escape the semicolon because this nonsense has to end at some point in time and now we can check to see what happened uh, ls uh, tmp star or oh, star american keyboard i'm lost so there it is now you know how to execute an action with the find command one final example and we are done for today yeah, bah, bah. pay attention 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 because i use this one all the time find and then the path that we want to search then the search options and that will be modified minute and in within the last five minutes i want to see what's been modified within the last five minutes as you can see i get permission denied but i get uh, these two that i can see uh, what you can do as well which is kind of just handy to know you can always throw the errors to dev null so you can just see what you can see or you can like beef it up show them who's boss and just do sudo so both works but uh of course if you want to see more stuff that you can't see the audit log uh, then you beef it up then you show, show them who's boss so let's go back let's go back to the beginning um, so this is modified minutes so you can do plus five and then it shows you that it's been modified for over five minutes ago more than five minutes ago I don't know why I'm swimming <laughs> I need to go eat dinner um, so there's something else that I wanted to show you uh, M time which is 24 hours so let's do that again let's find and let's do M time time and let's do zero that's within the last 24 hours so you can see secure messages cron DNF I updated my system as you should so that's m time zero is within the last 24 hours uh, this is the last 48 hours so if you do two and so on and so on the never-ending story la, la, la. <laughs> anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i had uh, fun shooting it it was fun entertaining for me at least so uh, like and subscribe, click like and subscribe, you know, you know the deal, uh, much appreciated. Uh, comments down below, also all engagement is, is good, um, unless you really hate me. I guess that's good as well for the algorithm. So I've been told from a friend who uh, is really good at posting comments on my videos, appreciate it. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but check out the blog. I have further examples and uh, yeah, some people like to read, some people like to watch me, not a lot of people, but uh, some people, but so take care and tell the next one. I am <laughs> I'm going to react, I'm gonna start a reaction. I know, cliche.
but uh, I'm gonna start reacting to some of the Linux videos that people put out there. Uh, because I do that when I watch them and I think maybe somebody's gonna enjoy it. I'm just rambling now. I'm gonna shut this thing off, but uh, bye.